Okay. Hi, this is KE6JZS in Barstow. Um, here we are. We are working with our cell here. Um, here's the new uh, the new hydrogen cell in the um, acrylic chamber that we made. And currently it's running about, what is that, uh, 40, 44, 45 degrees Celsius. Of course, I just got done running it. It runs uh, quite well. And um, I don't know, that's about 100 and, I don't know, 10 degrees, something like that. I could figure it out. Uh, it's, it's over 100. Um, anyway, the amperage on this, uh, it's taxing this uh, meter. This meter is good for 20 amps, and I'm getting a lot of over overload on it. I don't want to burn it up. So what we're doing is we're going to make a uh, a shunt. This is a uh, going to be a poor man shunt created with a piece of wire, and um, uh, a piece of wood. Um, you simply uh, put some feet on it, and um, put these uh, stainless steel uh, quarter inch 20 bolts fender washers through there and these little posts that we're going to use to uh, put our meter lead through there like that and you set your meter to millivolt scale and it'll give you um, a fraction of what's going across the, the voltage drop of the wire Okay. So all we've done here is, um, like I say, we've put our made a little platform for it, and what we're going to do is uh, hook this up on the bottom piece of wire, and um, figure out the length of this particular wire, which gives us uh, approximately one millivolt per amp hour flown, uh, fl flowed, flown through it. <clears throat> and then that's what's going to go to our meter and and we're going to be able to switch back and forth with the meter and see amperage, temperature and whatnot. And uh, so first thing we got to do is hook our, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to hook a power supply up to this on this end and hook the other part of the power supply there and run the uh, leads down here and see where about um, an amp happens. Um, I'm going to use this power supply over here we're going to set this up for, um, oh, let's see here, we'll uh, clip the lead onto here, uh, this should work, and we are going to set this up for uh, one amp, so we're going to short out our power supply, and look at our amp meter over here. Let's see if I can zoom in here a little bit. And like that. And we're going to set this for one amp. Um, right there's one amp. And um, I need a camera, man. Okay. <clears throat> and now what we'll do is we'll take our uh, our voltmeter. We're going to hook one of the leads going into the voltmeter right here. Turn this over. And um, set this to uh, 200 millivolts. And find out whereabouts this is one amp. That's saying right there, if you look at that, that's saying it's about, I don't know if you can see that or not. Um, yeah, that's saying is about, um, I don't know what that's saying, it's about 3.3 .3 millivolts. You can uh, go closer here. And, uh, Kind of, uh, 
Okay, man. Boy, this is kind of weird. I gotta figure out where two is. Let's put this about right here. Okay, what I did, I had to stop the uh, video here. Okay, again, what we're going to do is find the point, the, the, the two points here to tap off for the millivolt meter that will give us one millivolt or give us the proper reading. So. Right on the end of this, where this will be, which is about right there, okay, and then we'll get our meter, what we're going to do is put our supply there, and that's where the supply goes, so we turn our power supply on, of course it'll be all slung over here, there's some one and a half amps, one and a half amps is three amps. So we'll put one clip right here and then we'll move the other clip until this is reading 0.3 which should be about three amps. So right there is three three amps almost it's going on four. The resolution is not very good with this but this is a poor man's shunt. So what you do is you're going to move this down there's three and we're going to move these a little closer until okay so right there it's trying to go to two so that means it's two point nine almost three okay so right there it's it's on uh, two it's it's changing in between point two and point three again it's a resolution so that right there is about two point nine nine right if it's if it's uh, almost switching in there so we'll say that that's about three amps Okay, so if we go ahead and uh, move this to here, this should be flickering to 2 amps right there. And it is. There's 2 amps on the uh, power supply, and it's flickering between 0.1 and 2. So we go and we put 1.5 and 1.5. Five, and it should be almost three. I mean, it should be three, and there it is, put it in between the both. So, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and cut this here, and um, and this is where we're going to make our tap off. So, what we'll do is we'll mark. Well, I won't mark them now. I'll go ahead and recalibrate when I hook these two points up for our binding posts. What we want to do is make sure that that doesn't change. And we'll hook that there. And this will have to be cut. Well, it's kind of hard to get the camera in here, but what we're going to do is we're going to cut this there so when you put it into the uh, post, it's the right length. So what I'll do is I'll go ahead and mark this like that right there and we'll go ahead and and we'll cut that okay so let's go ahead and make this cut and what we'll do turn our power supply off is we'll try to check it up in this thing here and see if we can't make a nice cut on this There. Okay. So we've got it kind of checked up here. Give her hat so I'll see if we can make a nice cut in this. Of course, you can uh, cut this if you want to ruin your flush cuts. <laughs> 